Ah, welcome. Captain. 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 Raymond. Those slacks are a knockout. Come on, Amy. I trust you found my home easy to locate, and thank you all for wearing appropriate footwear. Wow, you really let your hair down when you're not at the office. Ah, detectives, meet my husband, Kevin. Nice to meet you. Evening. So glad you could make it. Ah, and look, he brought us some wine. Drink. This is legally called wine drink. How very thoughtful, thank you. It's red, like blood. You know, I worked a double homicide on this block a couple of years ago. The details will astound you. Yes, I'm sorry. Perhaps Raymond didn't say anything. Our home has a no shop talk policy. I don't bring home Beowulf, and he doesn't bring home cop stories. Oh. So, may I pour you some of this wine? Drink. You brought us, perhaps, all of it? All of it sounds good. Tom Haverford, my name is Trevor Nelson. I represent a client who would like to make you an offer. Baby face heard my demo? I will accept a record deal. No, you deeply misunderstand. My client has taken an interest in rent -a swag He'd like to know if you are looking to sell a controlling interest in the store. Whoa, Diddy wants to buy rent -a swag Not what I said. This is a lot to process. Will Diddy be coming to the meeting? I'm not at liberty to tell you who my client is. It would violate confidentiality. I understand. It's not Diddy. Got it. Sean. Ooh. Michael. Sorry I wasn't here to greet you. I uh, had something I needed to tend to. It can wait. It can wait. Okay, I've hacked into the mainframe. <sighs> Kidding. <laughs> I can't hack into the mainframe. Technically, I am the mainframe. Would you just hurry up? I'm here to rule on the fate of fake Eleanor Shellstrop. Yes, yes. Um, I think we have a rock-solid case for fake Eleanor. I truly believe she's a good person. Are you sure? Because I believe she's stealing my train. Going out in the public is a huge risk, so maybe let's go over some self-defense techniques. <gasps> oh, usually you warn somebody before you do that. Raymond told me that the element of surprise was crucial. Cool. <clears throat> so he's a great teacher. But I will say this. If you're going to do a throat punch, it is key that you say something cool afterwards, like, joke on that. Right, but they're not choking. They're experiencing airway trauma. Ooh, how about? Better get some corticosteroids to treat that laryngeal fracture. Okay, yeah, that's very informative and quite polite. <clears throat> but maybe add a dirt bag on the end? But a dirt bag is a useful part of a vacuum. I don't see how it's an insult. All right, you know, puncher's choice. Moving on. We're gonna need disguises, and since we're going to a public library, the best way to fit in is as... Scholars. Weird perverts. Yes, weird perverts is far better. Far better. Just let me do the talking here, okay? I mean, he's a lawyer, I'm an accountant, we speak the same language. I mean, obviously, accountants are a little more bad boy, but uh, there's a respect there. When will this be over? Hey, Trevor. I've been talking to Ron about estate planning, and he is here to do some goodwill hunting. So he has to draw up a new will, so. Yes, I understand, yeah. Mr. White, thank you. As I've said before, I just don't like puns. Oh, well, my accountant friends seem to enjoy them. Mr. Swanson. Let's begin by filling out this form listing your assets and liabilities. Nice try. I'm not telling you how much money I have, where it's hidden, or which precious metals and or gemstones it may or may not take the form of. If you don't give me the information I need, there's nothing I can do. Oh, come on, Trevor. Where there's a will, there's a way. I'm gonna say this one last time, Wyatt. Check the accountant crap at the door. Yes, sir. I will. The bad place has sent bad Janet to present their argument. What up, Ding Dongs? Yeah, so basically, um, the fake Eleanor's a dirtbag, and these jabonis are gonna try and claim she's less of a dirtbag now, but she just stole your train, and she still sucks bad, and she belongs with us. Oh, also, check this out. <laughs> Nailed it. I have ruled the fart inadmissible as evidence. What I will consider is the recent development of Eleanor stealing my train. Now, hold on a second. She stole your train to voluntarily go down to the bad place. She was sacrificing herself because she is a wonderful, selfless... No, don't... Oh. What's happening? I should have warned you. Sean only cares about cold, hard facts. If he detects any feelings in your voice, he retreats into a cocoon. So what we need to do now is just be very still 
very quiet. Finally. Oh, what did he just say? Oh, because you're all so perfect. What did the officials say when you got married? Not much. When gay marriage was legalized, we weren't sure if or when it was going to be struck down, so speed was of the essence. And do you, Kevin? Yes. And do you? Yes, yes, we do. We're married. I remarked afterwards that I wish the O-ficient had been more efficient. <laughs> it was very funny. Kevin still talks about it. Ah, maybe I should open with that zinger. Benjamin, after thinking about what you said, I've decided to leave each of my children 5% of my fortune. Wow, five whole percent. So I guess you are gonna teach them a lesson. Oh my God, that's five percent? That is a lot of money. Wait, is this a joke? It is not a joke. Not that an accountant would know the difference. Also, if something should happen to Diane and me, we decided that the kids should go to the most important people in our lives. Hold on, I'm, I'm incredibly flattered. Ralph Piatkowski and his wife, Helen. He's the maitre d' at Mulligan's Steakhouse, and he knows me better than anyone. However, if they are not able to do it, which seems likely as they're in their 90s, you and Leslie are choice number two. I'm honored. I gotta hand it to you, Captain. That was some ceremony. It wasn't difficult. I simply said what I wish had been said when Kevin and I got married. Oh, well, then I never would have heard your hilarious efficient efficient quip. Mm, you're right. I regret nothing. Mm. But all this does make me think I might enjoy a more festive expression of our commitment to one another. Are you suggesting we hold an honest-to-goodness wedding? Oh, nothing too elaborate. We're not the Kardashian Wests, after all. They are a musician and a celebrity personality who recently wedded. Yes, yes, I know. They were answers on Jeopardy. I think you mean questions. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fun. And finally, here is a check for the entirety of the purchase of Rentiswag. And here is a personal note from my client, Dr. Saperstein. Dear Tom, I win, you suck, turn note over. You still suck, turn note over. Okay, Saperstein couldn't even face me himself, he had to send in his lackey. My client isn't at this meeting because he doesn't have to be. Successful people, Mr. Haverford, use their money to get others to work for them. Hmm, it's an interesting idea, lawyer dude. What if I gave you five bucks to put a bag of poop in Saperstein's car? No. Ballparking, how much would it cost? $10,000. And in an even weirder way, I think I might actually miss you. Huh. And in an even weirder way, I want you guys to be my dads. That is weirder. Yeah, I got stuff. I uh, brought you your box of DVDs. Huh. Thank you. Oh, forgot about this one. We never watched Captain Corelli's Mandolin. What the hell did you just say? Captain Corelli's Mandolin? Say that to my face. Captain Corelli's Mandolin? It was a movie about a mandolin, and you kept it from me for two months? Well, I didn't think it was any good. It's just some period piece. What? Set in Greece. Oh, my God. Based on some dumb book. Ah! Terribly sorry. It has been a very trying time. Yeah, next thing you're going to say, you wish we had watched Leaving Las Vegas, a dark, ponderous reflection on alcoholism that earned Cage's Oscar. Ah! No! No! <laughs> oh, cool. When I'm even partway through the door to the afterlife, my powers come back. They do? They do. Thanks for asking. You're coming with me. Hi there. No, yeah, no, of course, of course Janet did it. Yes, but I had the, uh... Thank you, Janet. How did you get down here? We have the only key to the door to Earth. We built our own door. That's impossible. That's impossible, yeah. Ugh, you're such a dweeb. Why can't you leave us alone? You don't have enough nostrils to stuff with wasps? I don't want just any wasp nostrils. I want these wasp nostrils. You're just delaying the inevitable, Michael. The bad place is going to get all of them eventually. These four, their loved ones, even your precious pee-pee king, Doug Forsett. Now, why would you think that? Just a hunch. And do you want to know what else I had a hunch about? No. 